Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript top 40 one-liners that you should know. These one-liners are really useful in terms of helping you become more productive, writing less code. My idea and goal of this mini-series is to help you learn small tricks of JavaScript which you can implement in, it, in your day-to-day -day work. Let's get started. This is part one of the series about this series. These uh, JavaScript one-liners will help you improve your logic, will help you obviously write less code and write more efficient code. At the end, it will help you become a better developer. Please do show me some love by liking and sharing these videos. Thank you. All right, so what are we going to do today? The first uh, part that I'm going to cover today is the most basic thing that every developer must know, which is conditional assignment, right? So what is conditional assignment? What's the syntax? I'm going to show it right now. Let's get started. I'm going to create a new folder for you and I'm going to call it JavaScript 40, JS 40. All right, so first index.h, uh, I'm going to call it conditional statement dot HTML. All right, in this, let's quickly throw in uh, HTML structure and I am going to write uh, internal JavaScript um, just to save time, but you can always have an external script to write. So what are we learning? We are learning about conditional statement, all right? Okay, so the basic syntax is something like this. A result equal to, now what you can do is you put a condition, okay, question mark, and then you define what if it's true? What if this condition is true? or else false, right? This is one simple thing. Why is this extremely important? A lot of times you can write if else to check if value is true, do this, else do this. So see, it will eliminate all such code in just one line by writing conditional statement. So what's the statement? You write the condition, then if, it's, if this condition is true, what you should do? If condition is false, what should happen? Right. So a simple use case could be, let's say you're building a weather app. You can say is if it's sunny. Let's say if it's true or say activity would be equal to say is sunny. Is sunny. If it's true, let's say go for ride or else what you should do stay indoor right indoor right if it's sunny go out for a walk or ride and if not stay indoor so if you do a console log here you would see <coughs> so if this statement is true you should see the output go for ride if not stay indoor right this is a simple use case but let's say is admin right if user is admin right, um, say grant privileges or something like that, right, grant admin access, else, normal user, you can, you can basically have um, any different thing, but the idea here is um, just write a conditional statement, that's what you should practice. This, make it a daily habit whenever you are tempted to write a if else, see if you can write a conditional statement, that would be the best part you can do to save your time, write more efficient code. Now let me quickly show you the output. So when you open in console inspect and go to console, it says condition is not defined. What is this? Let's go check it out. Condition is not defined, uh, is, oh, not a min, it's admin, right? So make sure you do, you check your spelling mistakes. All right, uh, it still says condition, that's funny. Uh, if admin is admin, true, grant access, or else normal, yeah. Okay, so this is not defined, yeah, that's the causing problem. All right, so let's check it out. Now it says grant admin access, right? So basically, essentially, it's just a one line which is this, which does if else activity, but you don't have to really write if else, okay? 
again the syntax is you write the condition question mark followed by true value followed by the false value extremely important like i said these snippets will help you become better developer do hit that like button for me if you like the script and stay tuned for more i'm going to build 40 such one liners which you can really use and love thank you so much see you in the next episode